Hey everyone, Arch Shadow here, and welcome back to Crash Crush. So previously, I was kind of losing my mind with how long everything was taking in the Frosty event. Today, it is December 18th. I took off yesterday, but I still logged in to do everything. And, oh my god, finally. Do you have any idea how long it took to get to the Thermal Costume Designer? Yeah, because I checked yesterday and it still wasn't at that point. So the only thing I really did yesterday was I swapped around some of the hobbies and I turned on a job, so... And it looks like I might have to turn off something here because, well... Uh, I can't get this time skip any sooner, can I? Okay. Are you interested? Yes, I am interested. I just wish I knew why you were taking so long. Yeah, so at least the Zamfoni driver finally... That also... went forward enough. My special order of Frostmas treats arrived. Do you want to try them with me? Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Yay! We've got sugar cookies, peppermint bark, eggnog truffle truffles, and salt lick? That's random. Well, that's probably in case you get stuck to a pole somewhere. Let's set it aside in case we meet a reindeer. Or maybe that. No! <laughs> okay, let's see here. Thanks for taking my mind off the whole public singing thing. I was driving myself nuts thinking about it. Well, I was driving myself nuts with my lack of patience for this whole thing. Oh no! I'm thinking about it again right now! Well, I guess we can try to fix that. 16 Mistletoe and the Moonlight Stroll date. Well, okay. Right. Looks like you've gotten... Looks like you've really internalized that whole saying, "'Tis better to give than to receive." Yep. Okay, let's see here. Uh, why can't you just want a nice round number like 15 or 20 or something? Oops. Hold on. Don't want to overshoot it too much just because... I'm still not sure how much anything... Like, what I'm gonna need in the future, so... Okay. And well, Renee always looks very lovely in the moonlight. That was so romantic. I'm glad you think so. That was so romantic. Like something out of a novel. Although, if this were a novel, something terrible would most likely happen in the next scene in order to further the plot. Good thing this is real life. I know. We would have some kind of tragic turn of events. Okay. Yeah, so... It looks like I can at least go a little forward with, uh, a little more forward with Renee as well as with Yuki a bit. Because my god, it's taking forever. Or at least, well, to me it feels like it's taking forever and... I have a little less than two days left to go. So, I mean... I... It was okay for me to sort of take the day off yesterday from recording, but yeah, otherwise you really need to stay on top of this. If this was the last one, then yeah, I would be kind of SOL. Pretty cool, huh? Did you know that letter... Did you know that E is the most common letter in the English language? It's also the most common letter in my name. Pretty cool, right? Yep, three times. I'm pretty sure we had this conversation before. <laughs> Where does Santa keep his money? In the snowbank! <laughs> I love seasonal humor. Pretty cool, huh? Um... 
I really like you. And, um, also tinsel. And string lights. And reindeer noses. I just like things that shine bright, you know? Oh, that's why I shine bright. And I got the feeling I'm going to need, I'm going to need my auto clicker for this, so I'll be right back. Spooky. How is it spooky? Are penguins typically aggressive? The other day I found this cozy little igloo, and then a penguin came out and shouted, No, no, at me. I have no idea what it meant, but it was terrifying. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a thing. A lot of noises that penguins make do sound terrifying. <laughs> they almost always sound angry, so I don't blame you. Um, so... I was seriously running out of shelf space, so I built a new bookcase. Out of books. Now I have room for tons more, which is perfect, because that's the only thing I put on my Frostmas wish list. Okay, I'm here like, what? Hee hoo, hee hoo. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just practicing my diaphragmic breathing technique. Yeah, I guess I'm just here like, what is this? <laughs> it's... Okay, well, she doesn't really say too much of anything else. But the bad thing is that it, the cooldown and everything just moves so slowly that the auto clicker. I mean, it helps, but it's not going as fast. Like, yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. Can I give her something to make things go by a little faster? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it seems like that's probably the faster thing to do. Wanna know an embarrassing secret? I used to tell my classmates I was debating or dating someone from a different school. Then show them the picture of a snowman I'd built. Oh. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, that is kind of a terrible idea, I'm not gonna lie. Can you believe I actually thought I was fooling anyone? <laughs> if only I had an old silk hat that could have brought that snowman to life. Frosty the snowman. Okay, well. I guess it would be less weird, but it would still be kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm a pretty simple girl. Not really one for bells and whistles. Unless... Do you think that would help? With the caroling, I mean. Uh... Maybe, unless... Unless you're trying to drown out your own singing, thus defeating the purpose, then yes, I suppose it would. You just have to be very strategic with how you play it. Okay, 320 lamps. Oh man, yeah. Right. Okay, that's still the same. Okay, well, at least that's kind of out of the way. And let's see, let's take her to the beach and then. Well, let's see what she says first. And there she is, still looking like an absolute babelicious babe over there. I am not ashamed. Don't be. I know I'm an adult, but I still pretend I'm a mermaid whenever I go swimming. I am not ashamed. Like I said, don't, especially with looks like that. Okay, oops, no. Alright, I guess I'll be right back after I finish with all this. Gosh. Wanna see my Frostmas bucket list? I've already crossed off Watch a Classic Frostmas Movie and send out Frostmas cards, but I still need someone to sit by the fireplace with. Well, I'm available. Are you interested? Yes, I am. Honestly, I'd love for that someone to be you. Am I dreaming too big? Finally! No, but maybe I am because I want this to go by much faster. So I've done this. And thank God. Okay, next up is Fumi Girlfriend. Let's see, Yuki, I think I've already gotten to the nuisance phase with her. And I already have level 50 patients, so. Let me see, what did that earn me? 
Okay, well, nothing here, obviously, because I turned that all off. Maybe it would have been a good idea to turn it back on before I... Oh, well. Let's see. Oh, and we have the snow cone vendor open to us finally. Which I have a feeling somebody's going to want something for. Okay, let's jump back to Fumi really fast. I find it rather fascinating. Okay, let's see here. Twelve gingerbread houses. Hmm. Enlightening. I felt a strange sir heart or pfft. I felt a surge of heart palpitations at the sight of this object. Not unlike the touch of falling snowflakes. I believe I may be ill. Okay, I already read that. Well. Oops, not yet. Well you get a double repeat from me. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna take her to the movie date, which Oh god, this is probably gonna be agonizing. And she is still doing whatever. Oh no wait. I wanna say that looks like some kind of a Santa hat or something, I don't know. At least it's not Quill's cat again. Possibly, I have no idea. Access granted. Access granted. I am left with a sense of anticipation for our next interaction. I will see you in my REM sleep alongside the standard sugar plums. Well, good to know, I guess. And yeah, time to go through this again. Well, I mean, at least it's going a little faster. I would not object. Okay, let me see. I am not interested in meeting the requirements for a monogamous pairing. However, if you would like to initiate a more intimate designation, I would not object. Well then. Ah, good. Very well. We shall succumb to the popular trope of finding companionship during Frostmas, and I will adopt the interpersonal designation of girlfriend. Yeah. Pretty much like a lot of those, well, I'm pretty sure by this point everyone is already familiar with All I Want for Christmas is You from Mariah Carey, so yeah, that kind of goes along with the popular trope of finding companionship during the holidays. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, finally. Coach ten. oh great, let me see, what am I at with that? I turned it off because I did not need it, or so I thought. Well, 15 time blocks is definitely going to help a lot. Okay, uh, alright, okay, let me turn it back on then before I even do anything. Um, well, <laughs> let's see. Well, for the most part, everything here is kind of good. Okay, let me just... Well, this would probably be where I need to have everything turned on, but let's see. Okay, Juliet Awkward Bestie, so... Okay, that's going by a lot faster. I guess I'll just turn these off. Or... I really don't... I don't know what else we need, though. <laughs> Let me see here. Okay, so that's still there. Oh, I'm so sorry! Alright. Well, in that case... I'm gonna turn this back on just because I well just because I really don't even know I'd feel at least a little better having something going but okay so we need to get a little more forward with Juliet here so you want 80 drums well wish granted commendable job thank you oh very well I'll admit it there's a certain charm to your decorations, particularly the popcorn, particularly the string of popcorn, and the one with dried oranges and pine cones. To be precise. Hmm. 
Still, there's nothing here that can convince me my decorations weren't, strictly speaking, better. But as a backup plan, and after exhausting all my other options, let's see what you've got. How cliche. Well, I'm more than happy to show you what I've got, darling. Can you believe I saw someone in fake plastic elf ears handing out cookies? How cliche. Um, Fumi? Okay, well. You want 240 heat lamps. I should be able to grant that. How quaint. <laughs> and I sound like a genie, like, I should be able to grant that. Chance people find the quaintest items to value. You have my permission to put it over th there with my things. And you're probably not going to do anything with it, are you? Okay, 240. Well, you're going to get 250 and you're going to like it. Excellent. I must admit that I may have been a bit wrong about you. You have designed and implemented decorations far beyond my expectations based on the meager materials available. Gotta do with what you've got, right? Hmm. Either you're some sort of wizard, or there's a certain engineering ability that comes from living as a townsperson. Don't tell me, it'll ruin the mystery. Okay, I won't. Okay, go. Okay, go. Stepmother has never allowed me to perform undignified activities such as skating, sledding, or skiing. She's not here now, though, so clear your schedule. Alright, wish granted. Okay, let's see here. Moonlight Stroll, Mistletoe... Okay, and I already got the one billion dollars. Oh. Let's start off with the Mistletoe first. Okay, well, yeah, we definitely can't afford 100k of that, or 1k. Incredible! Incredible! It deserves a place on my vast masterpiece. Or, pfft. It deserves a place on my vast mantelpiece in a glass case with a little plaque telling everyone what it is and who gifted it to me. It'll be the most wonderful conversation starter. I imagine it would be. Hey, who gave this whatever it is to you? Oh, why don't I tell you the whole story? Yeah, you know, unfortunately it does take quite a bit of... Well, I'm gonna kind of bite the bullet and just give her the 50. Okay, and Moonlight Stroll again. And, yep, pretty much what I expected. Just kidding! Just kidding. It's for the best that we go out at night. Otherwise, people might gossip about me being seen walking with a cute townsperson. So baby, don't let them see it. Okay, well, I think I did... I, I'm i pretty sure I did reference that Ariana Grande song when I was doing this in the... Well, doing this with her in the old original game, or... Ah, I talk about it like I'm playing a spin-off or whatever, but... Oh, okay, well, let me just go through the Moonlight Strolls and I'll meet you back here. Don't ask. Don't ask. Do you mind sticking around a bit longer? Most of my friends get snatched up by cruel dragons or boring royalty trying to fulfill their quests. Well, I don't have anything like that going on. Excellent! And she still looks kind of cute when she does that. Excellent! You have sparked my interest in these town's person activities, and I expect you to show them to me in person. <laughs> okay. Uh... Time sk oh, eight hour time skip. Okay, let me turn on some stuff. Sure. Or, I almost feel like, what would I need more? 
Um, sure, maybe this. Okay. There we go. Renee Lover, Rosa's animated outfit, okay. See, we're kind of getting into the last row of the advent calendar here. And let's see, yeah, that worked to my favor, I'd say. Okay, we're gonna go back to Renee. Am I dreaming too big? The Phrasma songs on the radio sound so lovely. Oh, I wish I could sing like that, sing as well as Mary Carey or that bubbly guy, Mary Cariah. Instead of Mariah Carey, well. <laughs> well, at least she made the reference for me, even though I already made it. And I haven't really heard too much of whatever the hell happened to Michael Bublé anyway. Okay, seven earmuffs. Well, that's oddly specific. Thank you! This is just like when Beast gave Belle her great big library. Oh, I've never felt so spoiled. Thank you! Well, there was that one sequel that most people don't remember where they celebrate Christmas, so... I guess it's still kind of relevant. Uh... Yeah, let me just do this. Okay, 12 sightseeing. Is it gonna go by a little faster at least? A little faster, and of course she still looks cute. Wow! That was even more beautiful than the travel brochure described! Okay, I'm still probably gonna cut that out though, so I'll see you back here. Okay, now you want 240 mistletoe. Okay, well now I can give her the 1k, but I'm not going to, obviously. Thank you! That would be just overkill. Which I can't afford to do right now. Literally. And okay, I'm gonna give you the 250 because... Well, we all know why. It's my favorite trope. It's time for me to face the music. I promised Rosa I'd spread Christmas cheer by singing loud for all to hear. And by golly, I'm going to do it. Well, don't let me stop you. Look at us! For all the times that we... Okay, no, I'm not gonna sing the baby look at us. Thank you for believing in me, and for helping me find my confidence. I'm still a little nervous, though, so could you maybe hold my hand while I sing? You don't even have to ask me. <sighs> I'd hold your hand any day of the week. Okay, let me see. Do you ever feel like Frostmas loses its magic the older you get? Me neither. Well, being real for a moment, it kind of has for me, but I guess that's mostly just because... As I've said in other videos I've done, my grandmother has passed, my grandfather has passed, my mother has passed, my aunt has passed. I've kind of lost a lot of people in my family that I used to enjoy spending Christmas with, so... In that sense, it's kind of lost the magic for me just because... I don't really have anybody to spend it with anymore. It's just me and my dog, and... I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's not like I can have conversations with him, and... But I suppose it's still what matters, right? Anyhow, let me see, present, where's the present? There's the present. Well, thank goodness you only want one, because it seems like these are pretty damn expensive. This better be worth it! Thank you! Okay, she says that. Gingerbread house. Where is the gingerbread house? There it is. You want 120 of those things. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. There goes half the money. But... Well, hopefully it'll be worth it once I... Well, this is just for Rosa's outfit, right? The animated outfit. Okay, let's take her to the movie. Which is thankfully going a little by faster. I don't know. Eh, the book was better. I'm pretty much they left out the whole part about the reindeer astronaut. Oh, don't get me wrong. I still had an amazing time with you. I definitely want to do it again. The book was better. Alright, and yeah, likewise, I'll be right back. 
Gosh, I'm really touched. When I think about how, when I think too hard about it, I just can't believe we found each other at Frostmas time. It seems so magical, like something out of a song. Yep, yeah, like some of the many various Christmas songs that are out there about either finding somebody or wanting to have somebody for Christmas. I'm smitten. <laughs> then again, I've always believed in the magic of Frostmas. You're just the proof of what my heart always knew. <laughs> I triple dog dare you to kiss me! <laughs> oh boy, the frosty igloo. Uh. Okay, well, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, God, don't tell me I turned it off. And nope, I never did. Let's see here. Oh, God, this is gonna be quite the. Wait, confidence. Well, I have that. Juliet, girlfriend. Level 65 buff. What do I have it at now? Oh, God. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's definitely going to take a while now, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see, I've gilded all the hobbies, I just need to gild the one job. Although, uh, thing is, nobody really needs this right now, so... I can't really tell you. Otherwise... Okay, well... What I might actually do is... I'll cut the footage here, but then I might come back later and add more to it. Just to... Since the video is going to be kind of... At least it's going to be kind of sort of short compared to the other ones if I put it up now. So at least that way we'll have a sizable amount of content in there, and I can hopefully make a decent amount of progress. Although you could say that I've made quite a bit of progress here, even though we haven't necessarily bagged anybody. Not this gal. Well, I can maybe try to bag Peanut. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Seven gingerbread houses. Well. Oh. oh boy. And, yep, look at me, old money bags and spends a lot. Well. Do you like what you see? Yes, I do. I've always liked what I've seen. I made something special for the gingerbread house. Look! It's a little marshmallow snow person out front. I wanted to say thank you for making this possible. Do you like it? No. I mean, yes, I love it. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I'm so happy. You make me so happy. I've never felt like this before with anyone. Every minute I spend with you makes me feel like I can walk on air. I am so happy you came into my life. Hmm. Okay, we've bagged Peanut, so there's at least that. Okay, yeah, this time for real. Let me just... Yeah, I'll just turn off the recording, I'll come back later, and I'll see what else I can do. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, so I'm back now, and what I ended up doing was I just swapped some more of these hobbies in, and gosh damn. I need this to be at level 65 for some... for something. Let's see... Yeah, 65, so I can get this times 4 speed boost that I would really like. And... Okay, well... Let's see here. I just wanted to say, the other day you held my hand and gave it a squeeze, and I haven't stopped thinking about it since. Damn, you're good at this. Okay... Let's see, Renee and Juliet are the ones I apparently need to concentrate on. <laughs> Miss me? Did you think I was in another town? You'd best keep up. I do move quickly. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to turn off something. I 
because I'm going to turn off the snow cone vendor and hope that it's not going to bite me in the butt, like, immediately. <clears throat> okay, wait, you want to go to the beach? And, yep, she's about as hot as I remember her, and, yeah, about what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's the fairest of them all? Me, because I know what sun damage can... Er, I know that sun damage can still happen on cold and snowy days. Skincare is no laughing matter. Okay, oops. The present. Oh, boy. Is this gonna be... Well, let's see. Ah, shit. Okay, in that case, maybe... Let's jump back to Renee, or maybe Fumi, and just see, because... Yeah, I was here like, oh god, is this gonna... Can I even do this after seeing how expensive the present was? Ah, yes. Well, speak of the present. The progress you have... Er, the progress that has been accomplished with the addition of your assistance mathematically probable. Er, er, is mathematically improbable. This is a statement of fact, and not a rejectment of the proverbial gift horse. Oh man, let's see, can I even... Yeah, I mean, I can give her ten, easy. I am overwhelmed with emotion. Are you now? The meaning of material gestures has amplified in your presence. Thank you. You are accurately interpreting my idealized Frostmas experience. Meanwhile, my idealized Frostmas experience isn't really going too well because... Ugh! Man, almighty... Okay... Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, really be careful and not overdo it, so... Yep, more skipping, I guess. Fascinating. Okay. My current level of happiness cannot be explained solely by the successful completion of my gift wrapping assignment. In fact, I suspect these heightened emotions can be attributed to your presence. Thank you. You're welcome. I apologize. I'm not usually so sappy. Extraneous sentimentality aside, thank you for being such a wonderful Frostmas companion. I am pleased to see you. I'm glad to hear that. I am pleased to see you. I find you intellectually stimulating and physically attractive. Forgive my sentimental romanticism. Okay. So that's three girls in the bag now. And three more to go. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I swear, they're- they're trying to make me do it. They're trying to make me do it. Like, I think I might be able to- Well, I don't even know. I'm so close, though. That's like, god damn. She- Renee, with the Frostmas filmmaker, has been like, a bane in my side. And likewise, or no wait, it's, well, I guess it's a combination between the Frostmas Filmmaker and the Igloo Builder. Those have been the real banes of my existence in this whole event. Followed by the Zamfoni Driver. And yeah, it's like, these are the ones that I wish would go faster. Because yeah, I'm just really like, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry! Yeah, and the unfortunate thing is I can't even get any of these other ones until, you know, it literally is like an advent calendar. You can't just skip a day and go to the next one. You have to get it in order. So, if I definitely want to get any of this stuff, because, I mean, I have this, and I can get... Or, well, actually, no, I can get that, which will definitely help a little bit. But this is the one that I want the most, but then... <laughs> like, jeez, man. Mm. 
<laughs> uh, boosts. Yeah, I can't even do that. Like, jeez, I don't even know what I can do. I may have to come back again. I, I don't know. I'm at a loss here. What I really need are the speed boosts to get through this. And yeah, I'm just here like... Oh no, wait. It's those three jobs that make me want to pull my hair out because... I'm just here like, why isn't it at where I need it to be? Or why isn't it anywhere near what I want? Well, here's to hoping that turning that off won't hurt me any. So let's see, I I can't really give Juliet what she wants, and nor am I anywhere near what Renee wants with the Igloo Builder. Oh my god. Yeah, this is... Like, yeah, what do I do in this case? Okay, fine, you know what? You've won, game. You've won. Because this is just driving me insane. <laughs> yeah, this is driving me so insane right now. Like, I just want to get it over with. And then it's like, oh no, you can't, because this, this, and that. And then I'm gonna guild this. The last thing I need to guild here. Alright. Well, I can get the 65 buff a lot sooner now. But now I'm just... It's really getting... It was really getting on my nerves, though, because... I'm just here like, oh my god, what can I do to make this go faster, and, well, that's why I say, I guess, you've won, game. You've officially made me put in 200 diamonds, possibly more, yet again. Because I, it's just getting on my nerves. Okay, well... <laughs> Yeah, so then, I can't really do anything with Renee as much as I would like to be able to get her to the lover level. Now, why couldn't it have been get Peanut to the lover level or something like that? It's like, oh no, Renee. Because... Like, jeez. Of all the crazy things that could happen... I don't know. I mean, it's getting there, but it's taking a while. Oh, I'm so sorry! Can I give her... well, I think I should be able to give her the 1200 stockings. Yeah. Um... Well, I guess, yeah, while I'm waiting, and that way I don't feel like a complete dope. I'll just keep moving along. And okay, last one. Wow! Every year, Rosa works so hard to make Frostmas extra special for the whole town. I never imagined she need help from little old me. Well, she needs help from everybody, it seems. Come on! I won't let her down. No, we won't let her down. Let's save Frostmas together. For the spirit of commercialism! I mean, for the spirit of Christmas! Or Frostmas. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's for dinner. Alright. Oh, great. Gift wrapper. Do I have that on? Uh, yes, I do, but unfortunately. This is what I mean. It seems like when you. When you're working with the limited space here, combined with the time limit here, 
it all just kind of adds up and it feels... Like, you're really in a huge time crunch and you're trying to make things work. But then... Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, giving us the two extra days has so far helped a lot. The downside is... You're still kind of up a creek when something you need is taking for freaking ever to get to where you want it to. And to that aspect, you would still have to go in here and possibly buy more snowballs so they, so they can go towards a speed boost or even a time skip if you really need it. Because then otherwise, you're just going to be kind of sitting and waiting, and there's no telling how long it's going to take. And while this is definitely a lot more helpful, because you can sort of plan it out, the downside is some of these seem a little bit unfair. Like getting Renee Lover, just because... You're so reliant on getting this up to a certain point, but when you can't get it to a certain point, you're kind of locked out of getting whatever you can that might be ahead of it. So... Yeah, I almost feel as though some of the event goals are a little... I don't want to say impossible. Because, I mean, it's possible, it's just going to take a while. But, when you're kind of in a race against time here to get to the end before before the clock runs out, it kind of makes you a little bit anxious as to whether or not you're going to make it in time. Especially because you're having to sit here and wait, or in my case, leave the game off. Or either leave the game and then come back like in a few hours or something and then hope that you've made some progress. In my case though, I came back and it's like, nope, I'm still kind of up a creek here. So... <laughs> yeah, I... As much as I do appreciate the extension of five days instead of three, I still think... Something like this would need a little more tweaking to it. Like, at least make the... Make some of the event goals just a smidge more obtainable and not as frustrating to go for. Or as frustrating to complete. Because let me tell you, I'm getting like super frustrated staring at this and being like, Why isn't it where I want it? And kind of the same thing with the gift wrapper as well. <laughs> and then, yeah, as expected, Juliet wants so much, but I can't totally give that to her. So yeah, it seems as though I'm really at a standstill until, you know, something like that happens. Uh, well... And then I'm still wondering, why do they have it start at 10 a.m. my time? It starts at 10 a.m. my time and then ends 10 a.m. my time. No, that was kind of the same problem with the Halloween one as well. Because usually what I like to do is log in close to when you start with your daily login stuff, especially given that that's a good hour for me to log in since I have the time to, and, you know, I'm at home, I can just turn on the computer and get all that stuff going. But 10 a.m., and then up until, let's see, in my time it would be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., so I've already lost at least six hours that I could have been using towards this. And then likewise, I'll be screwed out of six hours on the 20th if I don't make it in time. That's kind of why I wonder why don't they just do it when you're doing the LTE stuff. 
Like, that'd be the... At least, me personally, I think that would be the ideal time to really start things off. Like, kind of in the afternoon, where you're home from school, you're home from work, and you can kind of sort of, you know, sit down and get things done. Versus kind of maybe missing out because you have school or you have work in the daytime and you obviously can't be home or whatever to log in and do all that stuff. And speaking of which, let me go back over here. Spend the day at the cafe with me, please! I promise to sneak you free coffees and cake pops! Just don't have them in three. I wonder why that was an outfit thing, even though it was a diamond. But see, like, yeah. If you could start it at, like, when you have the daily tasks, whenever that refreshes, I mean, I think it would make a little more sense. Versus starting it in the middle of the morning, and you're kind of sort of locking out people who may not be able to get to their computers, or if it's the mobile version, their tablets, their phones, the Nintendo Switch, whatever in time. Like maybe if it's the phone and whatever, okay, especially if you have your phone on you at all times and your game runs fine on there and it doesn't drain the battery to hell. But in my case where I'm playing it on Steam and I can't really log in at 10 a.m. in the morning my time, it just... I don't know, it just does not really sit well with me. So I think ideally what works so far is the five days so far. Now I can't say, like, at the end of the five days I may be singing a different tune here. Because, yeah, I think I could have possibly made it a little better with the Halloween event if it hadn't started out that way. Because with that logic, I also missed out on 12 hours from when the event started up until when it ended. And that's one reason why I felt so pressured to put in so many diamonds, because... As it was, I already missed out on it when it began. And then I felt there was no way I'm going to be able to finish it by 10 a.m. my time, especially... Just because I'm not going to be able to log in or whatever. And I sure as hell wasn't going to be staying up until 10 a.m. and pulling all night or... So, I just had to do what I had to to make sure I was able to accomplish it. And it seems as though that's what I'm going to have to do here as well. So, in a sense, long story short, I would say there are still some balancing issues that they need to work on. Given when it starts, when it ends, and then some of the goals that just seem like you're really wasting time trying to get it to where you need it to be. <laughs> so it just seems as though... Like, yeah, there's definitely some kind of balancing out that has to be done. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of running into this situation where your only option is to just pump in as many diamonds as you can, whether you have to buy them or you're lucky enough to at least have a good stash on you. Because then... Yeah, I feel like there's just no way you're going to be able to finish it. Especially... if you run into issues like how I was saying where you're not able to log in like, at the start of the event, like, say it's 10 a.m. in the morning, like I am, like with me, and I'm not able to be there, like, I might not be at home, I might, you know, like, I might be held up somewhere. 
something like I seriously do believe it would make a little more sense if when they start the daily login stuff, you know, since it's the start of a new cycle and whatever, like, yeah, why not start it then and there, or at least maybe as close to that as possible? Like, assumingly around when people might be getting home from school and work, or close enough to that. Like, in my case, as I mentioned, that usually kicks in at about 5 p.m. my time. Which is perfect for me. But then, yeah, the 10 a.m. my time, not so perfect for me. And I end up missing out on all that time, and... But, okay, well... I may just go ahead and leave this here. I know this this segment is a lot of me kind of ranting and whatever, but... Frankly, there's not a whole lot I can do until the game is ready for me to make progress. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, well... I would like to imagine I may be able to finish by tomorrow. So today is the 18th, tomorrow's the 19th, and then, well, the 20th, it's gonna end in the morning if I've done my math right. So essentially, I have to finish it by tomorrow. Because there's gonna be no way that I'll be able to do it by the morning. So I guess we'll see. Given the boost that I have now, and if I give it enough time, I'd like to hope that I can make that happen. Mm. Maybe I'll just turn that on just to have it going. Alright. So yeah, apologies for the rant, but I feel like a lot of tweaking still needs to be done here. Don't get me wrong, it's an improvement from the Halloween one, but there just needs to be some balancing maybe with the event goals, and possibly when you choose to start and end this, because I just... It just doesn't really make sense to me, and I mean, given that I can't be at my computer at like 10 a.m. my time, it almost feels like, yeah, I'm kind of locked out of that much needed time you need to put into doing this. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden, and later, folks. And seriously, just look at her. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. That's the jingle bell.